what hypnosis is, well, let's go through what hypnosis is. Where'd the word hypnosis come from? Anybody know? A Greek god? Oh, yes. Uh, she, she's very, very close. Yeah, a Greek god, right? Hypnosis, the, the name hypnosis was given to the whole process by Franz Mesmer back in the 1800s. Remember mesmerism? Mm-hmm. That was what it was called before. Then it was animal magnetism before that. You know, so if you could stand around a tree naked and hold hands and somebody would pass out and then you were hypnotized. Uh, it's, it's, uh, but it, no, it's, it's uh, not, it, Franz, Mesmer, Franz Mesmer coined the term hypnosis because he thought his uh, patients were going to sleep. And it's the Greek word for sleep, right? And the Greek God and it has something to do with sleep, and that's why he called it hypnosis. So he thought he could put his patients to sleep and get them to do pain control, go through surgery without any kind of anesthesia. Right, you guys know this story, at least this is where it'll start at. So when people think of hypnosis, people think of going to sleep, or they think you're unconscious and you won't remember anything. And that's one of the big challenges that I have because if you've never been hypnotized before on purpose, if you have somebody do it, then at the end, if you don't explain it right, they say, well, I don't think I was hypnotized because I heard everything you were saying. Yet yeah, you really want to hear everything that I'm saying or else you're in a trance called you know, death and you really don't <laughs> want to be there. <laughs> I want to keep you awake as much as possible. Hypnosis isn't a thing that you do. It's not a thing that you go to. It's a process. And that's what most people don't understand. And even the hypnotists that I bring into my classes and I train, I almost have to deprogram them, retrain them, and bring them back up to where I'm at because with hypnosis, what you're doing is you change emotional states about, on average, about four times an hour, right? Anybody really moody in here? Maybe you change more than that? I don't know. Um, yeah, <laughs> average person about four times an hour, and that's average. So you may be, you may change state, emotional states one time an hour in, in the evening, maybe in the middle of the afternoon change six times an hour, on average about four times an hour. So you go from being happy to being sad or from being happy to be excited, and then maybe you go to being bored and then maybe frustrated and then angry and then relaxed. You change all the time, all day long, every day, right? When's the last time you changed emotional states, anybody? When's the last time you changed? I'm driving over here. Oh, good. When I walked in the door. Oh, did, good or bad? When I sat down. Good or bad? Um, all good. Oh, all good. I was just putting you on the spot. I didn't really, it didn't matter. So you change emotional states. One of the times that you can notice this is if you're ever driving down the road and you can't remember how you got the last couple miles. Have you done that before? Yeah, that's change of emotional state. That process that you go through to go from one emotional state to another emotional state, there's a process in between there. That's hypnosis. That's all it is. It doesn't make sense. It just fried your brain because that's not what you think of hypnosis, right? Hypnosis is that process of change from one emotional state to another emotional state. So now you know you've all been hypnotized and you've all hypnotized other people because you've all changed somebody else's emotional state, right? Anybody married in here? Oh, you've changed your husband's emotional state before, right? Yeah, so you're a hypnotist. Mm -hmm. What happens when you change emotional states? Now, when you change emotional states, it could be a quick process. Like if you flip somebody off going down the road and you give them the finger and and you yell something out the window, you're going to change their state really, really quickly, right? So it's a quick process. Or if they do it to you, you're going to get upset really quickly. However, if you have a hard time at work, it's kind of stressed out, or if you're having a hard day with the kids or whatever you do, and you come home and you have to relax, it could be a slow process to get yourself to wind down and go to that state of relaxation. 